Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to talk about avoiding mental conflicts. And if this is something you're struggling with, I wanna put something into perspective for you so it may help with this change within yourself. So I want you to mentally, I want you to imagine that you are planting a seed inside of your mind. And this seed can have the word discipline on it if you are trying to build better discipline within yourself or if you're trying to build better habits, if you're just trying to think more positively, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, I want you to imagine that's the seed and you're planting it inside your mind or your garden. And we all know what it takes in order for a plant to grow. It takes the proper environment, it takes nurture, it takes watering, it takes attentiveness, it takes attention and being intentional with growing this plant. And I want you to think about yourself for a second and thinking about yourself in that perspective, in that seed inside your mind that you're trying to get going, trying to become better, trying to build this habit. You must, you must nurture this seed. There can be no conflicting thoughts. Don't go disrupting your garden. Don't send a tornado through it, tearing up everything support it be calm find out what it needs listen to it be attentive to it focus on it and watch it grow you'll see it grow into something great someday but with everything great it takes time when you want fruit you have to start at the beginning stage which is the seed the seed then gets planted and then a little sprout comes so you start to see the growth you're happy that you're starting to see the changes you're starting to see the growth you're you're progressing and then it becomes addicting you want to see how far you can take this plant and what it can become and the more attention you give it the more nurturing you give it the healthier it becomes and I want you to think about yourself in that aspect for a moment. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. How you're treating the seed or how you're, if you have plants in your home and you're taking care of these plants more than you're taking care of yourself, think of yourself in that way. Think of yourself in this aspect and maybe it will help you be more intentional with your growth. And the book that I'm reading right now, I know I shared it probably in a, pre a previous video, The Power of the Subconscious Mind. It's a very good book and it's been helping me a lot with my own mental battles and trying to get to the next level within myself, trying to become more disciplined within myself. So what I like to do is once I read a chapter, I kind of just like to summarize it and reiterate what that chapter was about and making content with it because I feel like so many people can use this tool as just seeing ourselves in a different perspective. And sometimes that's all it takes is just changing your perspective. So when you think of yourself in your mind as a garden and the things that you want to improve on, you're, you're imagining them as seeds and you're planting them in your mind. And when I say avoiding mental conflict, that's not contradicting what it is that you're trying to do. So again, one of my most famous things I like to say is if you're trying to go to the gym at 5 a.m., you cannot talk yourself out of going to the gym at 5 a.m. You have to follow through with that intention of what it is that you're trying to grow and trying to improve on. So if you're trying to improve on your health, to be more active, to just build yourself, maybe you wanna build muscles, maybe you wanna to tone yourself, maybe you want a healthier lifestyle, you have to tend to that seed of what it takes to grow in that aspect. So you need to be going to the gym at 5 a.m., doing what this plant is required of you in order for it to grow. So you need to water it, you need to nurture it, you need to tend to it, you need to do all the things that it's needed for it to grow. And you can think of that in any aspect. If you're trying to build discipline and better habits, then when chores and things need to be done or certain tasks need to be done, you're not avoiding it because your plant is not gonna grow if you're neglecting it. You have to tend to it. You have to be mindful with it. And soon you'll see it sprout. And I know once you see that sprout, you'll get excited because you're starting to see that progress. That progress 
then becomes a part of who you are, aside from the plant. You start to become this practice once you start practicing it. And that's all it takes is practice. You have to be mindful with what it is that you're thinking of what you're consuming and allowing yourself to, to push past the discomfort, push past the challenges that may be presented. But it's all about how much and how bad do you want it in order to bear the fruits of your labor someday. So this plant that you're, you're planting is gonna grow into something wonderful someday, something probably far than, than you can ever imagine. And you want, you want to enjoy those fruits. You, you're, that's why you're planting this seed, is because you want to enjoy the oranges some days. You want to enjoy the strawberries, whatever it is in your mind. Plant that seed as what it is that you're trying to improve. Tend to it. Be consistent with it. Be intentional. And watch it grow into something beautiful. Then one day, you'll look up and you'll realize that you're sitting underneath the shade of your tree, eating the fruit that you worked so hard to get to that point, and you express so much gratitude towards yourself because you did it. You grew within yourself. You've changed something that was yet once so challenging. And it's just a reward. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. And I say that in this aspect because I really think that it helps put things into perspective. Treat yourself in your mind like it's a garden. Whatever it is that you want to improve on, imagine them as seeds that you're planting in your mind. Avoid mental conflict. Do not contradict any of the things that you're trying, <laughs> sorry. Do not contradict any of the things or the ideas of what it is that you're trying to improve on, evolve on. Because all it is is gonna set you back at that starting line. You're gonna be sitting there looking at your soil, wanting it to sprout, waiting for it to sprout, and you're getting impatient. You're, you're being negative, telling yourself that you can't do it, you can't grow anything, you, you're not good at it. When in reality, you just have to always be positive. You have to always be searching and being positive. Because if you're negative and you're, you're, you're not supporting it, you're not doing what it takes to, to get this plant to grow, then that's, that's the issue within itself. You can't be negative. You can't have that mental conflict in your mind. You have to always think positive no matter how hard it may be, but the hope and the faith that something good is going to come from it needs to be so strong that no negative thought gets to you. You're so focused on growing this plant. You know you're studying it. You're doing everything that is required to make this plant grow. And you're going to be so, so, so happy when you get that plant to grow someday. And once you see that little sprout and the progress is, is, is working, it becomes addicting at that point. You become so focused on it because you see the changes within yourself. You see what it can do. You see that it's growing. And when you think about yourself in that aspect, it's the same for you. It's the exact same for you. So if you have trouble trying to grow within yourself, trying to build better habits, discipline, lifestyle, career, whatever it may be that you're trying to improve on, think of it in that aspect and watch how things change for you. Watch how easier it becomes when you just start to literally focus on your own life. Focus on your own life. Become all things that you want to become. Believe so much in yourself that you will never have a conflicting thought to ever think that you can't do something. You believe in yourself so much that the thought, I can't do this, never crosses your mind. That's the point that you want to get at. Because we are capable far more than what we believe. We are capable of anything that we put our minds to, but you have to make sure that your mind is right first. You have to make sure your mind is healthy in order to truly see things from this perspective. You can get there 
And I wanted to share this perspective with you because it, it really might help somebody just to see things in that aspect because once I've started to see things, it has really helped me grow within myself changing thoughts as they come to my mind from negative to positive, being super aware of what my mind has been processing. Is it serving me? Is it helping me grow? Is it healthy for me? And if it's not, it must go. Because we can choose how we think. We control our minds. <laughs> but you have to be, you have to realize that we, we are in control of our thoughts. We are in control of our minds. What, what we process, what we consume is all in our control. But it's how intentional we are with truly wanting to become better and truly wanting to grow into something to, to see it. But it's in every single one of us. And again, maybe, maybe this perspective has helped somebody. It has truly helped me. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I didn't want to make this video too long because I am headed to the river today and I'm so excited. I might try to add clips into this video because it's so gorgeous, but also spend time in nature. Spend time in nature. It gives you that mental clarity. It is soothing. It's relaxing. It's grounding. Get into nature. If that's something that you're able to do, whatever it is you love, honestly, just start doing it more because it helps so much. But that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Bye, guys. Mwah.